Hello, hello, making a netting video for Gary in Mentum and his video on Jordan Peterson and what Jordan Peterson thinks about ethics and animal rights and the animal rights movement. So I just watched your video and I want to make a video response. This ties into the subject that I have been talking about since I have first used the internet and YouTube, but long before that as well, I have been talking about this and it basically my whole life. So um, yeah, it ties right into this and I am not surprised that Peterson is against the animal rights movement because from what I have seen, I have browsed through his videos. I have watched the entire video of Benata versus Peterson that was a while back and and I love David Benata. I love him very much. As he is an amazing philosopher. I love Dr. Peter Zinger. I love Sam Harris. I love a lot of those people. And so um it is very making me very sad to see that Jordan Peterson is coming through the back door into the in intellectual community to snatch away intellectuals and lead them astray into corporatism and into the corporate onto the corporate bandwagon, which means um, he tells all these young kids out there, uh, university students and so on, he tells them that everything is just relative, you know, and that they don't have to do anything, and he gives them a speciesist message, speciesist, it's kind of a tongue breaker, message, and a corporate message and he tells people they don't have to do anything uh, and so on and so this is my theory my theory is that and he's also promoting you know he's promoting procreation and all of this and uh, he doesn't even it doesn't even bother him if the child comes out retarded or with defects and so on and so this man has absolutely no ground of ethics to stand on at all there's absolutely no ethics on his platform at all and I'm very sad to see this and so then I wonder where's what's going on why is he doing this and why is he promoting this obviously he is a christian he even talks against art he talks against modern art i'm absolutely appalled what i see in this person and a lot of those videos that he makes he basically has nothing to say it's just like some rhetoric it's just some some murky straw man attempts of saying nothing and just filling something in, filling in time or something and just leading people completely astray and leading people away from responsibilities and so on and for, away from love, away from compassion. That's what he's doing. And um, this makes me very, very sad to see this. It's horrible and it's um, so I, so that's why I come up with this theory that it, it's just it's just a conclusion and it's just an assumption so far I don't know for sure but I have the right to make my own assumptions about people and I have the right to, to talk about it and that is my right that's my intellectual right that I have of freedom of speech and I have the right to come to the to the assumption or the the question or the the speculation 
that Jordan Peterson may be paid by the corporate agenda, you know, in some backroom deal, you know, to, you know, like, let's say, just a, just an example, Lockheed Martin or Eli Lilly or Glaxo Smith Klein or Boeing representatives and CEOs and negotiators and middlemen or whatever they hire collaborators come in and say hey we got a nice offer for you here um, we'll give you a million dollars per year and you promote the corporate agenda you are you are a respected professor at the university and we'll help you get more views we'll you know boost your videos we'll make you famous we will get you to the popular shows you know so that more people will see you and so you know a stagnator soul will not reject offers like those a stagnator soul confused new to existence new to samsara, new to the growing of soul and mind will will say, oh, this sounds good, you know, this sounds too good to be true. I will do it, you know, I will take that money and I will promote the corporate agenda to everyone. So, and that, that message is that he has for the, the intellectuals is, oh, you don't have to think, you don't have to do anything. You can just lean back, everything is relative anyway, you know. So, it's all relativism. Yeah, we don't have to do anything, you don't need to be responsible. Uh, kind of like the message of Yuji Krishnamurti, which is... This was he was a student of the Theosophical Society in Jiddu, but uh, the message totally opposite message, so never really understood it. And and it was also kind of like uh, Yuji's Yuji's message was a temper tantrum towards Jiddu's message, which was Jiddu was the big nanny, and Jiddu said. Hey kid, you need to be responsible. You know, and the kid said, "Na na 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 na, I'm not going to be." And everything is relative. And so Peterson kind of reminds me of that. So it's like, but much worse. It's like, kind of like whatever. I will do. I will just do what, what the corporate agenda wants me to do. This is theory. I don't know for sure, but. You know, and uh, just no intellectual honesty whatsoever, no kindness, no love, no compassion, you know, doesn't see the other, he doesn't see the, the pig in the gestation crate, you know, for him, as Gary said, is, is more like an item, more like a trailer hitch, you know, uh, and, um, he doesn't see the screen, he doesn't hear the screams, he doesn't see the fear and panic in their eyes, he doesn't see any of this. And the reason why he doesn't see it is because his self-image has completely blocked that out. His self-image making and self-image and the pride in all of this has, and the interest in his self-promoting has completely sh overshadowed the compassion and the kindness and and so whenever someone says you are just trying to grandstand or you are just trying to you know to shine you're just trying to you know anyone who says that you and I get this all the time you're holier than thou and you think you're better than anyone I wasn't even talking about myself <laughs> I'm talking about the pigs and gestation crates I have it very good compared to the pigs, you know. So 
it's the pigs I'm worried about. And then immediately when I'm worried about the pigs, I get this, you are holier than thou thing, you know. And then they, they, they become naughty. They, they want to be naughty, da, 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 da. You know, they want to they wanna celebrate their, they want to do a temper tantrum against what they perceive as Big Nanny, you know, Big Nanny coming in and saying, kiddo, you know, you you have a responsibility here, and the kiddo doesn't want that responsibility. It does it's not convenient enough, you know. So and um so I get this all hear this all over the place. All over the all I hear it I hear it from unintellectual people I hear it from those who consider themselves to be intellectual I hear, but they're all anti-intellectual and they're all not intellectually honest at all so it's very sad to see this it's very sad to see a professor being so promoted and um, shooting up in fame and sweeping up some people who are not informed about any of this and making them fans and making them believe in relativism and making them turn away from taking responsibility for their lives and making making them ignore any kind of responsibility any kind of love any kind of kindness and caring so it makes me very sad to see this really it's very sad and the light is getting a little bit dim so put this out a little bit It to be visually pleasing. So it's very sad for me to see all of this, you know, how people jump on the wrong bandwagon because of peer pressure or because, you know, because they, they think that's an intellectual or because it's more convenient for them or something, you know, very sad. So but when someone shoots up in fame like this, so suddenly, you know, I always have a suspicion about this. And I wonder why, you know, who promotes him, you know, is he being paid? Is he being artificially promoted and made famous and made to be seen by everyone and um, so I'm not so sure this may be very well some corporate collaborator and I have a right to voice this suspicion that is my freedom of speech and we all should have a right to question people and everyone should question people really Absolutely, it's very, very important to do this. It's just very sad, and, and I already talked about this in my last video that I uploaded to my other channel, Animal Lover Support Group, Kenny Redwood. That is my last video I uploaded there on the journalist in the Antarctic who filmed the elephant seals, and when he saw the baby elephant seal, starving to death because his mother was killed by an orca and the other elephant seal mothers rejected him because they had their own young so and this photographer filmmaker was just filming this kind of reminds me of jordan peterson a little bit you know this oh it's nature let's just nature take its course and i will capture it for G national geographic and he just films it there for how many weeks and lets and films how the elephant baby seal it just starves to death and 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 freezes to death and and 
and grieves to death over the mother and has and, and grieves from from lack of touch and love and he just goes ahead and films this and thinks nothing of it you know he thinks this is all relativism you know it's just how it should be there's absolutely no love here there's no kindness at all you know? if if there was any love in if there was any love still functioning in that man he would put the camera aside and bring that elephant seal baby into his tent and and give him formula and nurse him and take on the role of the mother okay that's what he should be doing yeah. that's what he should have done but he didn't and it just it was excruciating for me to see it was heartbreaking to see and then the comments and reading the comments under my video it's on youtube reading the comments of people saying what a great nature of documentary not even once concerned you know that the, he just let a baby elephant seal starve to death didn't do didn't intervene no one no one seems to care about it just, it, it was as predicted it was one percent of people who said something just one percent of people who were mad and angry and heartbroken over that so yeah and then when we say something then the, the other people will come and say you think you're holier than thou and here i i'm not ta talking about myself i'm talking about the elephant seal baby i'm concerned about the animal not whether I'm holy or not. <laughs> so, and it's this, you know, it's this accusation. Gary was talking about this also in one of his videos, you know, how people are, they take offense when someone is kind because they don't want to, they don't want to admit to themselves or anyone that they were not kind so they will try to debunk the kindness and make it into something that it, it's not they will make it into something that is that comes from selfishness they will project that onto it oh you just did it for that reason or you're just trying to grandstand and uh, not seeing that this comes from compassion when someone does say something so i will put the link of that video under this video and uh, where i discuss this journalist and i will also put my petition to give animals personhood rights i'll put this under this video as well i want to get more signatures i think this is absolutely important that we get signatures and even if i don't get enough signatures i will do this for the rest of my life because it doesn't matter whether this succeeds or not i will just do it for the rest of my life because i care whether you know it is has no chance or not makes no difference to my motivation so my motivation is always the same it is to help and I do whatever I can, whether it is going to be functioning and working out, succeeding or not. Um, whether people will sign it or not, I will continue to promote this petition and to try to get people to sign this. And once the petition runs out, I already have one. This is my second round then I will start the third round and I'll do this until I die as long as I can make these run these petitions as long as I can do it and hopefully they stay free of charge you know so and if they ever charge for it then it's gonna be difficult but I will still be doing it and maybe I will then I will have to I don't know you know I'll figure other ways out how to make this work how to make it function i might even make my own website and 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 run the petition on my own website so so i will do this for the rest of my life you know, 
whether I do it on the internet or in, on paper or in written form in, in in verbal form or whatever in whichever form you know or song form I will even have a song for Shujo the the albino dolphin in Taiji my song for Shujo it's on a dormant channel that I that I had in the past so I have a lot of dormant channels that I have created in the past and that I had technological problems with I didn't know how to solve it I'm not a techie person I so I just made a new channel I never uh, even I never had a lot of subscribers anyway and my videos would never stand the chance to get monetized there again you know it's like someone who tries to really help will not stand a chance will not get any support you know, from corporations or you know so from anyone out there so very very few people only will support someone who really wants to help and so the people who are being supported are people like Jordan Peterson you know who will come in the back door to to snatch away the young intellectual community and turn them into relativism and turn them into complacency and and unresponsibility to help the corporate agenda you know that's what it's meant to do it's very sad I'm very sad about this so anyway so I just wanted to make this video and wanted to give you Gary give you some support and to give you some doll here <laughs> okay you guys take care bye bye